Welcome back, students. In this lesson, what I want to do is focus on converting numbers. That is going to be very large numbers or very small numbers into scientific notation. We've got three examples for us in this problem, and we've got the problem written down for us, and so let's go ahead and just dive right in. In this problem, we have the following. How do you convert the following numbers into scientific notation? And if you notice carefully here, we've got three numbers. We've got the first number here, the second number, and the third number. So let's go ahead and take this one by one. Remember that the notation that we're looking for is the following. We're looking for a number. I'm going to put the notation up here on the top right corner. So we've got a number followed by another number and a third times 10 to some power of n. Okay, and so that's there. And so let's go ahead and take a look at these numbers and kind of begin doing that. So if we look at this, what we want to do is ask ourselves, where in this sequence of numbers, and let me rewrite this number here. So we've got this number 0 0.00929. And it's important that we ask ourselves, where is uh, the place of the decimal? So if we look at the format that we want, we want to make sure that we have three significant figures as our base. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first significant figure in this entire sequence here is going to be uh, over here at this section and so the 9 is the first significant figure and we look at the next two digits and we notice here that these two digits here are significant because they're non-zeros and so what we want to do is we tell ourselves okay so we we identified the first three significant figures or the, rather the three the first three non-zeros and we put a decimal point here because this is where we want the decimal to be Okay, so we know that our base is going to be 9.29 to start, and so that's going to meet that first base part of the, of the formula that we've got. Okay, and so let me go ahead and write this down. So we're going to write this number as 9.29. So now we've got that format that we want. We're going to multiply this times 10, and now all that's left to do is to figure out the exponent n. In order to do that, we identify the number of spaces between where the decimal normally exists in the yellow um, section and where we would like it to be. And then we count the decimal or the spaces in between the decimals and we also have to pay attention to the direction because the direction tells us whether this exponent is going to be positive or negative. And so I go back to the section that I want here uh, in terms of where I want the decimal to be and I count the spaces between this decimal and the other decimal. So there's one space, two space, three spaces. So I know that this exponent is going to be a three. And since it is moving in the left direction, we notice from the number line sequence, if numbers move to the, to the left, here's going to be zero and over here to the right. So we know that if we move to the, to the right, numbers are going to be positive, right? Because you've got one, you've got two, Three. But if you move to the right, to the left, what you wind up having are negative numbers: negative one, negative two, negative three. And since the direction that we're going here is to the left, this exponent here is going to be a minus three. And so this would be the first number that we convert. Let's go ahead and uh, do the other two numbers and see how those look. So let's go ahead and take the second number, and that number is one eight two six. Four, six. Notice that all the digits in this particular number are all non-zeros. So this is a very large number. In fact, if we look at this, this is one, 182,646. And because of that, we know that there is a decimal at the very end of this number. Now, we want to make sure that we convert this into scientific notation. And so we're going to find the first three significant figures. In this particular case, that is the 1, the 8, and the 2. And so since that is the, the base, I'm going to go ahead and place a little decimal here in terms of where I would like the, the, the new decimal to be. And so this is where I would like it to be, so now I just need to count the spaces between where I want it and where the real decimal really exists. And so those spaces are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So when I write this number down, my sequence here is going to be one point a2 times 10, and since there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces, my exponent is 5. Again, notice the direction. The direction is to the right, so that means that this particular exponent is going to be positive. And this is the way we convert that second number.
Let's go ahead and turn our attention to the third number, and in doing so, uh, we'll see how we convert a very, very small number into scientific notation. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this number. It's point zero 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 zero. Let me count all the numbers, and I'll go ahead and write that number there. So here is that number written down. Notice I, I gave it a little bit more space just so you can see the actual zeros in there and, and see the number. This is a very, very small number. Okay, And so what we want to do is look for the first three non-zeros, and those three are over here at the very end on the right-hand side, the 9, the 8, and the 7. If I'm following that format again, and remember that format is the following, I want to have my number, decimal, and two numbers. This is my three significant figures times 10 to some power of n. That's the format I want, so I notice that I've already got my 9, 8, and 7, and I'm going to go ahead and place a decimal here just to tell me this is where I want my decimal to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and count the spaces in between the decimal where I want it to be and where it really is. And so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there's 12. So my number here, or my exponent, is going to be 9.87 times 12, excuse me, times 10 to the 12 power. And since the direction was to the left, the number here is negative. Notice since this is a very small number, the exponent tells you that it is because it's, it's a minus sign. So negative exponents in scientific notation tell you that you have a very small number. Positive exponents in scientific notation tell you that you have a very large number greater than zero. Okay, so in the next video I'm going to show you a couple more examples and hopefully that will be enough to get you at least to that level where you understand scientific notation conversion.